Coming to you live from Southern California, MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the Texas Rangers and the Los Angeles Angels. John Chomby with you alongside Chris Singleton. A big game two in store for us here today, Chris. Yeah, this might be the game to actually decide the series, Boog. When it's five games, getting a 2-0 lead is a dominant position to be in, and I don't see this series getting to a fifth game if we have a repeat of game one's outcome in this one. Yeah, the Crows start circling for a team that falls into a two-game deficit, not where you want to be. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Jay Mack stepping in for the Rangers. Maybe not an elite level switch hitter, but still a guy. Some contact and just success as a hitter for both sides of the plate. Ground ball right side could be two. Fires to second for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Next to hit, Jay Mack. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Well struck right field. That's back there. And out of here. A towering shot to right. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 4 nothing. Change up up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. So now the DH spot, Jay Mack. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And that's in there for strike one. Preston at third, Walker at first, one gone. That one ripped. That'll drop in, plays it on a hop. Trevino to third, and he's in safely at third. A run comes in on the play. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure. Home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Ralph Kelly done for the afternoon. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Craig Fisher taking over on the mound. Tough situation for him with a couple of runners in scoring position. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. One down, and now it's Nunez. Two on, one out. And a foul ball, he stays alive. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpiring crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game. And the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. Next offering is way upstairs. One down, runners at second and third. And he grounds one to the right side. Baez picks it up. Only play is at first on the throw from shallow right. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Up next for the Rangers, Armando Flores. 
And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Two outs with a runner at third. Hey, be patient. Get your pitch, huh? That one is absolutely belted. Back there. Gone! So he goes the opposite way with that one. That's his 50th career homer. And they add to their lead. It's 9-1. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it. And stepping in is the speedy Jay Mack. Hey, this there, is huh? a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off. Come on, baby. And the first That's offering is not close. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Makes the catch. Runner tags it second, and he makes it up to third with one away. So two down, and now here is Jay Mack. And first offering is fouled off. Let her in. One time. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Willie Nunez stepping in for the Rangers. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. Geronimo over to first the tag and that's out number three inning over well one of the goals in the postseason is to split on the road and play very well at home they did just that with the win today even it up at one and one Well, Singy, it wasn't pretty, but here's another look at the final line. Yeah, Boog, this one wasn't close. Not a lot of drama at the end either, and you just don't see a lot of blowouts in the postseason. 12-4 is the way this one finishes. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.